Welcome back, everybody. We are continuing our bridge run coverage where that race will kick off in just about half an hour at 8 a.m. Our Alicia of Wimberley is getting an inside look at what runners can look forward to after the race. Alicia, of where are you and what's happening there? Katie, when I left you about 20 minutes ago, I was about near Anson Street, but now I am officially at the finish line by George Street and Anson Street, which still is blocked off because of the race. Now, I wish you came to me just a couple of minutes ago because the national anthem was just playing, and I just heard a roar full of cheers. All of these runners have came out for the Cooper River Bridge Run, and I tell you, it's exciting. It is exciting. I mean, look behind me. They already got the tent set up for the festival. Now, what festival? Just in case you don't know so we have gotten some instructions that as soon as all the runners come through the finish line they want you to go straight through to probably just keep on running because there will be a finish festival so after you get there you've completed the race the festival will be held on Marion Square Calhoun Street and of course it is going to be a great great time so we are definitely looking forward to seeing everyone cross from this area now for everyone that has Ubers and ride shares that are picked up of course there are many streets that are blocked. We've got Henrietta Street. It's, of course, King Street, Meeting Street. You won't be able to get by because of the Cooper River Bridge run. So they're urging people with uh, Ubers and car share rides as soon as they finish the festival to meet at a certain location. And we'll tell you those streets exactly when you come back to us just so everybody can know because, of course, that race starts at 8 a.m. And speaking of which, just two years ago, Katie, in 2022, it was the 45th anniversary, which, if you didn't know, I mean, come on, 45th. So now we're in it to two years later and we are so excited it's about the 47th year and it just keeps going we've got 38,000 people that they've capped off this race to 38,000 so you can only imagine the amount of people that are excited to either take on this race again and continue a tradition or start it for the first time because I know me and my folk talk man it is the first time that we've been out here so Katie we have so much more to tell you we're so excited and we'll have all of that coming up for you and so much more reporting live here on George Street downtown Alicia Wimberly, Live 5 News.